I'm just over here living in squalor, but not for long because today I'm going to tackle the madness and get to cleaning. I'm showing you around the chaos. This room actually is very nice because I just redid it. Shout out. Hey, to my new office. This is the remnants of my office and I really need to just get all of the clutter in order. Oh my gosh. I forgot to mention the antique store that I have in my bedroom. I just, I'm redoing a few rooms in my house. So, you know, it gets worse before it gets better. I feel like it's been worse for however many years we've lived here. But you can see schmutches that's normal on the windows from the kids just opening and closing. All of the dust and debris from outside to inside. It's just normal life. If you live in your house, it's not going to be you know, clean all of the time. At least that's what I tell myself. And we'll talk a lot about that as I clean the house throughout the day. And what am I going to use to clean, you ask? Oh, Blue Land. Huge thanks to Blue Land for sponsoring me. Massive thanks to you for always supporting me when I have sponsored content. I've been using Blue Land products for over a year, maybe two years by now, and I love their products for a plethora of reasons. They offer a multitude of cleaning products in, those are my dishwasher tablets. I have some laundry tablets down there. I've got the hand soap, which is really effective and it comes in a variety of scents, which I've been enjoying. Also have a pile of these all-purpose spray tab. They're like little cleaning tabs that I just order them in bulk and I keep them under my sink. It's a huge space saver. All you have to do to use it is fill up your bottle with warm water up to the line. And then this is the cleaning product. You pop it right in and you let the cleaning tablet dissolve in the warm water. Blue Land offers a multitude of cleaning products in reusable packaging that's convenient, powerfully effective, plastic-free, eco-friendly, and the best part is that it's affordable, more affordable than other cleaners that I had been using. And these are not only so much better for the environment, they're better for me, they're better for my kids, they're better for my house, my environment, because they're plastic-free. That is the toilet tab. You just throw it in, let it fizz, brush it once it dissolves, and then flush it. I love those along with the laundry tablets and dishwasher tablets. While other detergent pods are wrapped in plastic, same with dishwasher pods. They are full of plastic and that plastic is not only ending up in our oceans, rivers, and soils, it's also in our bodies because the plastic film is contaminating our water supply. It's wild when you think about it and that's why Blue Land is so great. It's free of plastic, including the packaging. It's naturally derived, hypoallergenic, sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. And on top of all of that, they actually work. The dishwasher tablets are proven to perform on baked on, burnt on stains without rinse aid. The laundry tablets are proven to lift the toughest stains from grass stains to food stains. The Blue Land brand is just so amazing. They offer starter sets, which I have gotten a few of, but they also offer subscriptions, totally customizable, and that's what I have on rotation. They ship to me straight to my house, and um, I get the multi-surface cleaner. It's just all always nice to have on hand because I go through those the most. They also have a window cleaner and a bathroom cleaner. Obviously we're cleaning all the time so you can get those in bulk and save even more money. Um, and if you want to save even more money than that, you can use my link in the description box below. It'll get you 15% off of your first kit. Blue Land is sharing this special offer just for you guys so you can get 15% off by clicking my link in the description box. Huge thanks again to Blue Land for sponsoring me. I made a list of things that I planned on cleaning today. A lot of the things on my list were more like deep cleaning, but before I can even get to the deep cleaning, because there are three levels of cleaning, we have learned in the past, the first level is putting things away, like clearing out the space. And if you want to know the next two levels, I don't, I haven't been able to get there yet, so I can't help. <laughs> Just kidding. The second level I think is deep cleaning and then sanitizing. So when I look around my house and I think, oh my God, you know what, what is the tall tale sign for me? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tall tale, tell tale. Who the heck? That's a sign for me is when I look around at the doors and they're dirty. Oh, that's the worst. I'm like, okay, time to get my scrub bucket out and start scrubbing the doors down because the doors can get so dirty really fast. Plus kids always have like sticky hands. <laughs> How does that happen? I don't know. Anyway, so that's when I'm, when I'm thinking, okay, oh, that and the cabinets. So I planned on getting a little deeper into cleaning in this video, 
but that just didn't happen because I did need to put so many things away, especially because I'd been like, it's been musical rooms around here. And we've just been like walking around things for too long. So I really needed to focus my energy on that, obviously, because you can't, you can't deep clean when stuff is in the way. So that's step number one is what I'm doing in this video. And that's just, uh, well, the first level of cleaning and that's just putting stuff away. And I'm starting in the kitchen because sometimes when I start in my bedroom or my bathroom, here's what happens. I spend literally two hours cleaning. Like I do all the levels in my bathroom bedroom and it takes me two hours it takes a long time and then when I get to the main areas of the house the living room the kitchen that's when you know time has passed and everyone's like oh can so-and-so come over or hey is so-and-so is at the door and you know so our door is revolving which is fine my kids are living their life living their best life I hope and that's exactly what I want but Instead of starting in a room that nobody sees, <laughs> I'm starting in the room that everyone sees. That way it just feels a little bit more clean. So I'm starting in the kitchen and then I'll work in the public areas of the house, if you will. And I have a pen that is snapping, so I'm gonna put it down because otherwise I'm gonna just snap it for the rest of the video. So talking about everything being chaos, I saw something on Instagram the other day and I saved it so I can share it with you. But you guys know how Instagram really just gets me. The algorithm knows exactly who it's targeting. And I really think that you're going to benefit from some of the stuff that I'm going to share with you today. So while I clean my pantry, I'm super excited because the bigger bins finally came in. They were on back order. I, I think I'm saying, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. I, th and that's how I feel when everything is a mess. I'm like, Oh, I need to just take a breath and just start, just do it and live. And that's the only thing that I can do. So Yes, it is cluttered. I also had a Thrive Market box that came in and needed to be put away where we were literally eating the snacks and I was packing lunches just out of the box because it was sitting there for days. So I said, okay, today I'm going to tackle this. My bigger like organizing bins, if you will, came in. I didn't even know what to do with them. I'm not great at organizing, but I'm doing my best. And I feel like every step that I take is a step in the right direction. And it's getting me to be more organized, I feel like. I don't know. Let's just, I'm saying it kind of with a question mark. Okay. So the reel that I saw, it states one evening. Okay. This is talking about like chaos and like all the kids and you're thinking, oh, every day it's never ending. I've been posting my steps to Instagram and people are, well, not so much my steps. I'm more worried about my sleep or lack thereof. And people are commenting on my Oh my gosh. How do you get 20,000 steps a day? 22,000 steps a day. I'm just like, how do you not? I mean, obviously if you have an office job, I understand, but I'm talking about like chasing after kids and doing all the things. So I'm talking about that like the chaos, the busyness, the, all of that. And then this popped up and it said, states one evening we'll sit down together. There'll be no bath to run, no books to read, no little voices in the hall or laughter bouncing off the walls. No chaos here. Just you and me. We'll look across at one another. You'll sigh. I'll probably cry. You'll reach over for my hand and say, what do you want for tea? I don't drink tea. That, well, that's the end of it. It doesn't say I don't drink tea. I don't drink tea. Holy crap. That brought up emotions that I, I'm not ready to face. <laughs> okay. I have a 13 year old and I have a one year old. So I get the full range of like, man, this goes by so fast. And also, holy crap, when will this end? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when will I be able to sit down for 20 minutes and just be? And I know that day is coming. And so says the real it's coming. And, uh, that was just a picture. It was a picture with, you know, words on it, but, or a little clip, video clip of, of a, just a couple older couple holding hands. And my husband and I talk about that a lot. Like we sit down together every night and sometimes we literally get five seconds before, <laughs> you know, one of the kids comes in and starts talking to us or whatever, but we're like, this isn't going to last forever. And it's just, Wow, such a little gentle reminder. And I feel like I need those more often, even though, right, they're always in the back of our mind, like, enjoy these times, they don't last forever, you know what everyone says. And you're like, yes, okay, thank you so much, but also, it's exhausting, <laughs> and it's constant, and, you know, it's both sides, and we're allowed to feel both feelings at the same time, right? Okay, here's another one. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, so this is giving more perspective on, like, 
in, enjoy your time now because in the future, you know, blah, blah, all of that stuff. But this, this is touching too. So 20 years from now, you'd give anything to be this age again, exactly this healthy, hopefully, and have this time again. So do some main character stuff before it's too late. And I really liked that one because it was like, you know, some people are, oh, how do you let your house get this bad? Or how do you, wow, your life, whatever. They make comments and I'm like, well, I'm just out here living my life for me. And you go ahead and you live your life for you. If you, if the goal of your life is to have a picture perfect clean house every single day, I bet you're cleaning your house every single day. But for me, that is not my goal. When I am no longer here, I doubt anyone will comment on my cleanliness, first of all, or, oh, wow, her house was clean or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not what I'll be remembered by. So Alex and I, we try to take time and focus our energy on things that actually matter. So it's like, do some main character stuff. Go live your life. Go hang out with your kids and have fun with them and have conversations with them and do all the things that you want to do. And if you don't have kids, will you go ahead and do whatever the heck you want to do And that's cool. You are the main character of your life, which is like the premise of that whole Instagram reel. And I just left it. I was like, main character energy. Do you have it? I hope you do. If you don't, pump yourself full of some today and I don't know, do whatever the heck you want to do with it. Like sometimes I get dressed in the morning and I think, by the way, like this has nothing to do with cleaning. So I hope you're just here to have fun in the conversation because if I just sat here and was like, and now I'm packing my grits into the container, you know what I mean? Like personally for me, I don't enjoy listening to that. So here we are. (laughs) So when I get dressed sometimes in the morning, I think, is this outfit too much? Like, is this too, you know, too many colors or too much color or uh, too, too much. I don't know. How else can I explain that? And sometimes I'll change and sometimes I'll be like, no, this is actually perfect because main character energy. You do some main character stuff today. And guess what else? Okay. If I'm going out of the house and I'm wearing like head to toe pink, like No one cares. (laughs) No one. That is a realization I had several years ago to a couple years ago. I don't know, a while ago. And it's that, and I tell my kids all the time, everyone is so worried about themselves. They're not, no one cares what you're wearing or what you look like or what you say. No one remembers the awkward conversation that you had so many years ago or last night at the dinner party. No one remembers. No one's thinking about it, but you better believe It might wake you up in the middle of the night and you're like, oh man, why did I say that? Or what was, (laughs) you know, I mean, obviously there are, are a few exceptions, (laughs) but that just, you know, it goes to show you like no one really cares. So I'm going to live my life for me and my family. And really that's the only thing that matters. Oh my heck. So there's actually another reel. Now that I've opened the reels, I've gone down the the tunnel, the rabbit hole of reels that I have saved. And uh, wow, some of them are like real deep, so I just can't even. But (laughs) there is one that I feel like um, I do want to share with you. It's kind of long, so let me figure this out. Okay, well, on my hunt for that one, holy crap, I came across one that is deep. So I guess we're going there. And um, I feel like I just feel pulled to share this one with you first. So it state, I'll try to link the um, Instagram reels below so you can watch them, rewatch them, save them, whatever you want to do with them. But it states, if you told me that I had just one more day in the stage of life that I'm currently in, I wouldn't say I want to bungee jump or swim with the dolphins. I would say I want to hold their little hand in mine for as long as possible and feel what it is to let them be the first to let go of every cuddle. I would say I want to lay with them during every nap and wait for them to wake in my arms to have one more chance at seeing their eyes be the first to meet mine. I would say I want to watch as they turn our house into their very own playground. Their happy place would be mine and the aftermath would be something to behold, not begrudge. I would want to be in it forever. I would say I want to hear them say mama as many times as possible and tell them I love them in every which way. These are the words that will always mean the most. I would say I want to do the ordinary things, the everyday things, 
the things that on any other day would feel like the same old things, because these things are the big things, the life-changing things, the things that I know are the best, because they are there with me, and I would then say that one day isn't nearly enough time, but they are worth more than every second of mine, and so I take every moment and be in it, because this is where, out of everywhere, I choose to be. That is the end, and it's from a creator on Instagram, words of Emma Heapfee. Maya may be mispronouncing, but oh my word, it's a poem that she wrote, and I just, it hit me in all of my feels, like the mama bit. Oh, oh my gosh, the most wonderful word. And uh, yes, they sometimes do say it a few too many times, right? But it's just, I, I love the whole message of that. So I, I knew I definitely wanted to share it with you because, and it, that's the whole point. It's like n- our normal is their magic. It's their childhood. It's, do you know what I mean? I hope you understand. I hope you get it. So maybe like don't clean your house today and, uh, you know, spend your time elsewhere. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? Let me motivate you in a different way while I'm cleaning my house. You'll, it'll, the mess will be there when you get back, right? There are many hours in a day, and you can spend them hopefully doing all the things that need to be done. But uh, I don't know, like, I used to feel guilt if people came over my house and it'd be messy and I'd be like, oh man, ugh. But now I'm like, well, this is it. <laughs> And I'm kind of over it. I mean, I, it's still, if we're having an event or something, obviously I'll put more time and energy, but every day when the kids are over and I'm like, oh, well, take it or leave it. It'll be fine. You know? And, uh, okay. So the one that I actually wanted to share with you, I forgot. Oh, maybe I'll share that later. I just want to like chit chat. What uh, are you doing for spring break? Slash, are you on spring break? Slash, I know we have spring break super early. Slash, maybe I'll stop saying slash anytime soon. I'm not really sure because slash is one of my favorite words. So slash, I'm just kidding. Uh, Our spring break is now and we have nothing big planned. We're just kind of keeping it low key. I feel like we kind of always do because... You know, we live in Florida. It's a big hot spot for spring break, right? So every place is super crowded and it's just not the vibe. <laughs> so right now we're, we've just been like running around the yard doing low key things. You know, we'll, t- we'll take them out, but we're not, no big travel plans. Like we have passes to Bush Gardens and the zoo and places like that. But even those get so overcrowded and you know, how much fun can you really have? Just literally at a big theme park the whole time I'm just looking for my kids and counting, making sure that they are all safe. And uh, one day, you know, they'll be big enough and I'm, I'm sure I will probably still go ahead and count. You know what I mean? Like even when they're adults, does that ever go away? I doubt it does to some capacity, I'm sure. But anyway, so uh, as soon as I cleared off the top of this desk, I felt a little bit of relief (laughs) because all these things, like little things were piling everywhere. And so I had to put them in their spot that they belong. And so once that was done, I had the contents inside of the drawer to deal with. And they're different size drawers than what these are. So I couldn't just completely transfer them. So it was another, a whole new pile of junk that I had to deal with. And I did find a gem in there, like a pretty picture that I plan to hopefully frame or something. I don't know. That wall outlet keeps falling and I should probably figure out how to like screw it back on, but it's like, it won't, the screws aren't holding it. Anyway, we were going through our house. We had a lot of stuff in the garage to donate because when we were changing rooms, the kids went through their rooms and found a ton of stuff to donate and declutter. And so while going through that, Alex was putting all of the declutter items in his, uh, in the van. And so when he was doing that, I found this rug that I bought. It matches Wentworth's rooms rug. Uh, not that it's like, Ooh, Wentworth loves this print. It was just, I bought it because he needed a rug in his room (laughs) and this just came with, it's actually from a friend. And I always thought, Oh, I'll save this for when we have the addition and we'll, Put, I'll put it in the addition hallway. I hated the way that it looked, so I rolled it back up and put it back in the donate pile. So that was a waste of time. But also when I redo Wentworth's room, which eventually hopefully happens, we bought him a bed, but it's on like back order. 
So whenever that comes in, I think we'll just redo his whole room or do it because we never actually did it. I just, I was like, you need a carpet. And my friend was selling a couple of carpets and I just bought them because it was one less thing I had to think about. She had two and I was like, that's perfect. I'll take them both because I needed one for our bedroom and he needed one. So I was like, you know what? Double duty is one person and I don't have to think about prints. I was like, this is perfect. You're saving me. So anyway, the runner you know, match. So it came with it. And I was like, that's perfect. Cause we're going to have another hallway, but that didn't work out. And Wentworth doesn't even like the rug. And, <laughs> you know, so eventually we'll redo his whole room and we'll get rid of that rug too. But I just thought it was funny. Like I saved that rug for how many years, two years and didn't even end up using it. So well, say la vie is what they say. Right. So now that the desk is out of the dining room and all, I was going through the boxes like that's how that's where we store boxes other than those Kiwi Co crates. I, I I'm waiting for the closets in the new edition to have a, like shelves. I bought built ins for them kind of I, like Ikea style that obviously need to be put together. But Ikea is out of the frames for months like they're having problems with their supplier, I guess. So eventually when those are done, then we'll have a lot more space to store. Like one will be for games and stuff like game board closet and obviously linens and stuff. So that's where I'll store the KiwiCo crates because my kids love them, but I'm not going to give them one every day. Like we're going to make these last. Okay. So I find them at the thrift stores. I actually, a couple thrifts ago, I found like five KiwiCo crates and I thought, man, this is amazing. So for a really great deal because when you buy them new, which I love KiwiCo and have done in the past, they can be like $20, $25, even $30. It depends on what crate you get. But at the thrift store, they're like five bucks, 10 bucks. I'm like, this is a deal and a half. That's not a deal. That's a steal. Okay. Oh my gosh. You got a, a sneak peek into Wolfgang's room. This is, consider this a sneak peek because this, I think this is the next room that I'm going to do. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. I'm kind of just taking a breather for spring break because uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe at the end of this week, then I'll tackle this one. Also, I think I'm going to do something in here that I've never done before. And I'm kind of dragging my feet on it. Cause I'm like, well, the wallpaper didn't work out. So, so I don't know, but I did buy this pottery barn shelf. If you must know, yes, it's pottery barn. Yes. It is also secondhand found on Facebook marketplace. And it was like $25 and people out here are just trying to sell furniture pieces for literally a hundred dollars for nothing. And I couldn't have been happier about that find. And then also the little bed, like the Montessori style bed, round of applause for that. That's actually custom. I also found it on marketplace. And as soon as I did, she like listed it. I was just happened to be on it looking and yeah, I don't know. Like sometimes the stars just align on Facebook marketplace and other times they do not. <laughs> so I was really happy to find that one. And I'm just, I have a vision for his room. I just don't know if it will turn out in my head. It's either going to be great or it's going to be horrible. I say that, but uh, I don't know. You got, it's a lot. There's a lot of moving parts when you're doing a room and I don't know. Just, the way that Pinterest makes me think it will turn out will be fabulous. Oh my gosh. Fabulous. And that's not the tune at all. But the other night for family movie night, we watched my dream. I've been waiting to watch this on our family movie night bucket list. I've been waiting for like two years. It's been on there. And every night, well, not every night, we don't have movie night every night, but you know, on the weekends, mostly it's Friday night or Saturday night. And we'll do a family movie night. And we watched like Spider-Man. Oh, you know what we watched? Wonka was actually really good. The beginning, <laughs> Alex and I just looked at each other and we gave each other the look like, oh, this is going to be miserable. But then I don't know what happened, but it, I loved it enough to be like, man, I could watch that again, you know? <laughs> and I'm not someone who likes movies or especially watches them. As, like normally if I watch a movie, I'm like, okay, done, seen it. I'm good to go. Or on the opposite side of that, I will hyper fixate and watch that movie like every single day and just have it on in the background and stuff that happened with like how to lose the guy in 10 days when I was in, I don't know, middle school, high school, probably high school, but that was a great movie. Anyway, Wonka was great. I still didn't tell you the movie that we watched. Did you make your guesses? I'll wait for you. I'll wait to take me your guesses below. I'll wait for you to present her. That was actually a great little jingle not going to lie. It's a little too long, but that's okay. So what did you guess? 
Did you guess Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? If so, you are incorrect. It was High School Musical, the first one, and the kids had a friend over, just one that night? I can't remember. But she had not seen it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you are not living, right? And when it was over, I asked how she, first of all, she loved it, obviously, who doesn't? And then I said, well, you're in for a treat. It is movie matinee night, and we're putting on High School Musical number two. There's also a number three. Is there a number four? I haven't Googled it. My, we were debating. Are there, how many are there? Three or four? I still don't know. There's definitely three. Man, High School Musical is such a jam. And if you haven't seen the first one in, in a long time, I would highly recommend it. It is great. <laughs> the fashion in there. The, my kids were being so funny, like, you know, just pointing out different things because, you know, they're kids and funny. So another great one I feel like would be uh, Twilight when they're a little bit older. Like that, those, I don't care what anyone says. Those four movies, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I've never seen Star Wars. I've never seen Harry Potter, but Twilight, that's great. I've seen that multiple times. I'm like, this is, these are top tier. (laughs) They're horrible, but they're like so good. I don't care what anyone says. They're great. They're like, um, what are those in the Christmas time? The Hallmark movies. Those are great too. I don't get to watch as many of those as I would like to, but sometimes like when the baby was little and it was morning time and we would wake before everyone else, I would throw that on and I'd be like, this is peak. (laughs) This is peak human existence right here. Just everyone is sleeping except for the baby, you know, when he was teeny tiny and I didn't have to chase him around and, and he just, he loves to go outside. He, I mean, he's outside right now with Alex just playing. He love, if he could live outside, I think he would like, And I think most kids are like this. They just love exploring. They love running around. They love getting dirty. They just love it all. But for me, I'm, you know, out there with the kids after a couple hours. I'm like, I got, I have other things to do. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like I cannot be outside all day long. Try as I may. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. I put in some, these aren't essential oils. What are they called? Fragrance oils. And they are from the company Musical. It's not musical. Magical. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Hold on. Magic Candle Company. They are so good. I don't care if you've been to Disney. The whole shtick about the company is they dupe like scents that you smell at Disney World or Disneyland. I don't really know the difference. I mean, obviously the location, but... I think they have the same rides. They should have the same scents. I don't really know. Never been to Disneyland. But the scent, first of all, the scents at Disney are superb. And even if you don't care about Disney, they are still super great scents. And it had been a while since I have diffused any of them. So I put some in today and it just really transformed the house. I'm not going to lie. It transforms the whole house when you have a nice scent. Like that is one of the first things, obviously, people notice when they walk into a house. And then secondary, they'll realize, oh, is it clean or not in here? (laughs) I don't know, maybe. That's what I think when I walk in my house. Sometimes I'll walk out of my house when I'm done cleaning and walk in and just admire my hard work and be like, yeah, like, (laughs) is this what other people see when they come in? You know, I don't know what they actually notice. I don't, it doesn't really matter or, but that's what... That's what I think about. Like, ooh, does it smell good in here? I constantly worry about that too. But the scent of the Magic Candle Company, the diffusers, oh my heck, I should go on there. I feel like I made an order recently. Did it come in? I mean, it's been like several months, so it probably came in. (laughs) But every time I make an order, I should go on there because it's springtime and they always highlight different scents. All right, I'm going to do it. You talked me into it. Oh, speaking of the rails here. So first of all, I couldn't find the attachments for my vacuum and we were decluttering, right? We, um, we had a ton of donations in the garage. If I didn't finish my thought before, oh, I'm not, I'm going to interrupt myself again because I was over here cleaning and I noticed all the gunk behind the couch. Oh my heck, what in the world happened behind here? I often sweep under the couches, but I normally push them back. And that one I push back obviously there's a window. So I push it to the window. So that's all the gunk that, you know, I have missed throughout how many times I haven't cleaned from behind. So anyway, the attachments to this vacuum, I can't find them anywhere. I feel like we may have donated them. We almost donated my steam shot because this specific day 
I was looking for my steam shot. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I found it in the trunk of the van. Be- uh, thankfully, moments before Alex took it to go to the donations. So I was so glad I found that. I think it's like 50 bucks, even though I don't often use it. And when I say often, I mean I've used it maybe twice. <laughs> but I think about using it a lot. So uh, when we deep clean next time, I think I'm going to pull that sucker out. But I couldn't find my vacuum attachments. I'm not even sure it came with any. I probably threw them out because I'm like, I never use them anyway. You know, why clutter up my house if I don't, you know, with things that I don't use. But it, they, it definitely would have came in handy when I'm trying to clean out that rail. But guess what? I cleaned it out without it anyway. So is it necessary? Not really. But I just... um Obviously, the sliding rails needed my attention. And then behind this couch, oh, what the heck. Just pretend that this is months in the making. (laughs) I'm kind of embarrassed, but also, like, I know things like this happen. So that's life. That's life, Michael Buble style. Actually, who's the singer? Frank Sinatra, maybe? Anyway, so this actually was satisfying. So I don't even care what anyone has to say about it. It was nice. I cleaned it up. It got dirty and life goes on, my friends. Anyway, are you doing anything for spring break or summertime? Are you thinking about summer? Are you thinking about Easter? Let me tell you something. Easter is like tomorrow. I (laughs) like, what the heck? How did it come up so fast? I, the other day, I I think I've just been so consumed with, oh, let me decorate the office. Let me get things gathered for Wolfgang's bedroom and moving the kids and Meredith's room and ordering beds and all this stuff that I just got so hung up on all of those details that I, the thought of Easter was just in the back of my mind. And I just, I eat, we do Easter really big here. So it does take a lot of preparation. (laughs) And not only that, but like, even if we didn't do a big, like, Easter baskets, zero. I've done zero. Um, decorating around my house, I guess I did a little a couple of weeks ago when I took Avelina to Home Goods. I did get a few Easter things, so that's in the bathroom. But other than that, like nothing. I still have Valentine's Day up. Oh, I took it down, like in this video. Finally, took it down. I'm like goodbye Valentine's Day. It's about dang time, right? Because it's basically June. Which, by the way, kind of makes me sound like it is kind of basically June because school is almost over. It's like, it just seems so crazy. Spring break and then summer vacation and then what the heck, right? Hey, I got this ritual set in the mail. Uh, I love ritual vitamins, by the way. And this is their new product. (laughs) They sent it to me, which is so cool that they do that. But I buy the other vitamins on my own. (sighs) Just, Just saying, okay? And that one apparently is for stress relief. And I'm like, can't we all use a little bit of that? What kind of vitamins exactly are in there? Because, uh, yeah, stress relief. Who, who doesn't need that? Honestly. Okay. Um, anyway, I can't, I have the pen in my hands again. I don't know how that happened. So what was I saying? Summer I just, I have to focus on one thing at a time. Summertime, I'm, I am excited and we actually, I've been trying to shop for bathing suits. I took Avelina to the store the other day to shop for bathing suits because she is going to a camp, like a, an overnight camp this coming week. It's like, it's really cool. I'm really excited for her, but she is in need of a new bathing suit. So I took her to go bathing suit shop. Well, I just took her to Target and I, you know, I look looking at the bathing suits too. And then when I got home, I was like, let me look for bathing suits online. And um, my little fingers carried me to lilypulitzer.com. And I thought, man, maybe this year I'll splurge on a lily bathing suit. But anyway, that's the only thing I worry about during summertime. That and food. I'm like, what is everyone going to eat every single day of their lives? I probably should go to Costco today because... Our fridge is looking kind of bare and we need like vegetables and stuff <laughs> like good stuff. Can't we just eat junk every day? I have plenty of those low sugar stroop waffles left. Can we just all eat those for dinner? Slash, can we eat girl dinners every night? It's like my husband would never. My kids maybe would. But like the same thing over and over again. Like little things. Can't you just eat a pack of gummies and like a Reese's cup for dinner? No? <laughs> just me? Okay. Um... Anyway, how did I get on that tangent? I was talking about Easter, how that needs to be my focus, and it hasn't been. So I need to get an arts and craft 
I need to get stuff for their Easter baskets. I would like to get something to decorate the front yard with slash backyard with slash. I'm pretty sure Alex got a bounce house. That's he's pretty good about being on top of that kind of stuff, which by the way, the price of bounce houses these days, if you've had a party lately, birthday party, get together, family gathering, family, whatever it is. Have you seen the price of bounce houses? I'm not talking about like a square bounce house or the aesthetic ones. Don't even get me started about those. Actually, for Wolfgang's birthday party, we almost got one of those like little areas where, you know, because he was turning one and we realized, well, we're not going to get it because there's only going to be like one other little tot here. <laughs> and it's just not worth it for the price. It's like $400 for, they have like a ball pit and, you know, a little obstacle course essentially for them. So anyway, how, what I, we didn't get those, but the price of that is crazy. But we got, oh, I was talking about aesthetic because those are like cutesy and aesthetic and so super cute. And they are so super cute, but I don't know. In my mind, I'm like, we only have one kid and I could just get him a ball pit. And then what am I going to do with the balls afterwards? Whatever. But you can rent them is what I'm getting at. We rented a huge, it's like a hundred, over a hundred foot obstacle course bounce house for the kids. They love it. We used to get one from the same spot every year and it was pretty affordable for what it is. This is like four times as much money. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, they are on the plus side, leaving it, for, they're delivering it Friday and then picking it up. When is Easter? Sunday? So they might be picking it up Monday or Sunday night. I don't know. So we'll have it at least three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's exciting. Last time we got one, they picked it up same day. They deliver it in the morning, picked it up in the evening. And you know, that's, that's showbiz, baby. But it'll be nice to have one. And that was a, that was for Meredith's birthday party. If you saw that vlog, you saw the crazy, that one was, that one was wild, <laughs> but it was a hit with all the kids. Most of the kids, some of the kids were a little scared at the entrance, but I mean, it was kind of scary. Not going to lie. Anyway, uh, he took care of that, which is great. And I just have to, I think I'm going to cater. I'm just going to, we're either going to do like barbecue <laughs> for Easter. Is that Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll make some stuff, but for the main core, and it's a potluck too. So everyone brings a dish, but for the main things, I might do honey baked. I don't know. It's really expensive. I called them the other day just to get an estimate. And I was like, ah, I, don't I, I got to think on this. Okay. And that's the thing. I just, I think on it too long and then maybe it's too late. How many days in advance do I need to figure that out? Probably a lot. Okay, I'm going to do that today. I'll do it today. Don't worry about it. I'll get it done. It'll get done and it'll be great. And everyone will talk about it until next year. <laughs> Just kidding. Everyone will forget about it the next day. That was fun. And then we have to fill eggs. I got to get candy for it. I need to make a list. So give me my pen again. I got some paper. I got a list to make about Easter things to um, get my life together for Easter time, right? But let us not forget, Jesus is the reason for the season. And that's really the most exciting. Oh, my heck. Yikes my bedroom, Ugh, my antique shop up in here, man, the antique shop is antiquing. And I don't know what I'm going to do with some of this stuff, but a lot of this stuff is actually amazing. And it is for Wolfgang's room. So that's, it gives me another push to actually do his room. I thought, you know what? There is a ton of stuff in here, but it doesn't have to be everywhere. So I'm just kind of pushing it up against a wall. That's how I clean stuff. You know, when I was a kid and I cleaned stuff, I would just take all my stuff and shove it in a corner. I'm like, look, it's clean. <laughs> my kids do that now too. And I'm like, I remember cleaning like that. Okay, let's do it the right way now, you know? So that's essentially what I'm doing in my bedroom. Just taking it and like putting everything up against the walls and dealing with the stuff that does go elsewhere, but also, you know, some of the stuff that doesn't have a home yet because I haven't finished the bedrooms and there are a lot more to go. So we eventually, you know what, when we first moved in, I was uh, talking to my sister-in-law and about like decorating or, Oh, what I want to do with this space or that space. And she said something to me that I think about all the time. And she probably forgot that she even said it, but she's so wise. I love her so much. She's my fave. She told me you have the rest of your life to decorate this house. And it just like put me at ease. And I thought, you know what? You are right. I have the rest of my life to do this. So it just kind of took the pressure off. And 
it, it's nice because here we are two and a half basically years later and it kind of feels like we're moving in again because so many rooms are getting moved around and switched because the addition is finally done and it just like brings new breath into the place oh my gosh speaking of new breath this rug I told Avelina this used to be in my closet back when I thought I was the sophisticated lady that I am <laughs> not. And I got this white fuzzy rug. I don't know what I was thinking. And anyway, so we put Wolfgang in the closet, like put his little rocker in there, his sleeper in there. And I would literally stand there and just hold him. He hated the, he, Oh, deep breaths. Okay. He hated everything except for my arms, but try as I may to get him to like sleep and not be on me. And essentially it just led me to hover over him or hold him and for way longer than he would last without me like being in my arms, you know? So short story long, that's why there's a huge black spot on there. Cause I would literally just stand there and rock back and forth. <laughs> so that's that dirt spot. I have to clean it. I told Avelina, you can have this rug. Uh, I just need to pressure wash it. Cause I saw you can't just throw it in the wash, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to Google that, but I YouTubed it a while ago. That's why I saved it. I almost donated it. And I was like, I can't donate this. It's so gross. So I need to wash it. She wants one in her closet and she's cooler than I will. I am. So she'll keep it clean. And, um, she might put it in her room. I don't really know, but I don't want to get rid of it. It was super expensive. It just needs cleaned and I need to take the time to do that. Oh, here I am cleaning the doors too. That's what I was talking about earlier where, the doors are super gross. I don't even know how sometimes they get this dirty. The door frames, obviously kids are touching it. Adults are, just people touch it so much. And our hands are dirty often. I mean, I wash my hands probably more than the average person, mostly because I touch my eyes a lot and I'm very conscious about that. So I try to wash my hands very often uh, just so I don't get sick. Cause like, that's how you get sick. But I say that right now and I have like a stuffy nose. I'm like, please let her be allergies. The pollen is insane. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But anyway, everyone's talking about the pollen count. Our cars are all green out here and the oak trees. And it's just not a good time for us right now, <laughs> right now. But, uh, yeah, I cleaned the doors, came in here, found some, I found a bag of stuff that I needed to either donate, uh, or return. I think they were Costco returns, but I just get, I never return stuff at Costco. Even when I say, Oh, I'll return. I never do just because it's, I don't know. I'm like, it's not their fault that it, I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts around it, but I did need to clean my bathroom because it was grody. And I took the first step of taking the rags, not rags. What are they called? The, um, the foot, uh, rugs. I was really close. <laughs> the rugs into the wash. Oh, so this is sophisticated lady behavior. If you were wondering, having a half eaten cheese stick on the bathroom counter. No big. That's just my life. You know what else I found? A banana by the bedside. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know you guys. I just, I'm just doing my best over here and that's all I can do. So, the bathroom was really gross. I'm not even halfway done with it. This is like, I took a break after the cleaning and I came back. This is after dinner. It was, we made brownies and this was before we watched the movie. And I thought, you know what? I have five minutes. Let me just tackle the, my bathroom as much as I can in five minutes. Right. And sometimes that's all it takes when I'm doing cleaning. I'm like, I just need a time frame of, you know, so I can, I don't know. So it gives me an end in sight and do as much as I can, as fast as I can in however much time I have. It doesn't mean that I, because I rarely get like a set amount of time to actually get a lot of cleaning done at once, a bulk cleaning. Um, as you can see, I have kids and they interrupt me a lot because I am needed a lot and that's okay because I'm their mom. But otherwise it's hard to like, you know, get a lot of cleaning done in one bulk, big bulk chunk. Um, obviously, you know, sometimes they help me, sometimes they help me in ways that don't actually help me, <laughs> but they do their best. One of Wolfgang's favorite things to do right now is to get a spray bottle and just start spraying everything. And so I'll lock them and then he'll get mad that it's not spraying. And I'm like, oh, this is great. <laughs> when will he grow out of this? Right. But anyway, that is all that I got to in this day. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed cleaning with me and hanging out with me. And hey, like I said earlier, like maybe don't clean your house today. Maybe go out there and make some magic. Maybe go out there and do some main character stuff. Maybe go out there and live your life. And uh, hopefully you have a happy moment doing that. But I sure do appreciate you hanging out with me today while I got some cleaning done around my house. It's not even close to being done, but it's like good enough for what I could do. It's Kim's cleaning service at your service. And, uh, you know, our motto is only clean what can be seen. But hey, if you enjoyed it and you want to stick around, subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'm trying to get to a million before the end of the month. Bye.